You know what? There's no more fun and efficient way to fish than fishing from a kayak. But if you're serious about kayak fishing, there's not a better tool out there for reducing frustration and managing boat position than the new micro anchor available from PowerPole. Listen, if you're ready to take your fishing to the next level, you need the new PowerPole micro anchor. Welcome back to Wilderness Systems Kayak Bassin. This week, Chad Hoover's fishing with his son Austin and his friend Chris LeMessure at Minor Bay Lodge in northern Saskatchewan. Today the plan is to throw for a few pike as they troll the rocky shoreline for the lake trout rumored to hunt in the deeper waters. What is a great day to be in Canada, eh? One of the hottest trends in fishing kayak design right now is an elevated seating position or a high-low seating position where you at least end up in the elevated seating position at some point during the day. One thing to keep in mind when choosing a fishing kayak with an elevated seating position is you're gonna need a little bit longer paddle and you definitely wanna get a stiff paddle. A good efficient paddle stroke comes right down the side of the boat, not way out to the side, which makes your boat go like a water bug. So choose a stiff, efficient paddle Choose one a little bit longer if you're gonna use an elevated seating position and make sure that your blade's got very little, if any, flex in it and a stiff carbon shaft will make it great for those long days out on the water. This Bending Branches Angler Ace Paddle has all of those things packed into one. So if you're picking a paddle for today's fishing conditions and you're gonna use a modern fishing kayak with an elevated seating position, choose one in a little bit longer length, one with a stiff blade, a stiff shaft, and as light a paddle as you can afford. A great choice is the Bending Branches Angler series of paddles. Pike! <laughs> the fat dude. Mm. Chris is already headed out trolling a deep diving crankbait from Sibyl and uh, I'm going to try trolling a spoon and also is going to try some jigging. We're in a good uh, laker spot. I'm going to try to find them on the low rants and we're going to try to put a big fat laker in the boat. Pretty looking fish though. White belly, orange fins. Hook, mouth full of hooks. I'm gonna hoist them in the boat, just get them in my lap. Thank you. Like every fish in the trout family, just some pretty colors, pretty markings. And uh, lake trout is no exception. This thing is cool as hell. Hey, so the cool thing about where we're at is we're fishing in a bunch of different conditions. We're fishing a really huge lake with lots of small bays. And that's why I chose to fish out of the Wilderness Systems Ride 135. Let's take a closer look at that boat. The Ride Series comes in two sizes, the 115, which is 11 and a half, and the 135, which is 13 and a half feet. Now we brought two 135s for Chris and I, and a 115 for Austin to make it a smaller boat in case we had to portage. So here's the deal. The reason that we chose this boat is it's what I like to refer to as the ATV of kayak fishing. Ample storage in the back, huge pontoon so we can stand and side cast when needed, a comfortable seat that, that we use the high position for this trip, the uh, stand-up assist strap, huge Orbix hatches for getting stuff in inside and out of the boats, and most importantly, it was self-bailing, so that we had to make long mothership tows, the water that came into the boat just ran right out, and when this Canadian wind picked up and storms blew in, the boat was self-bailing and super safe out there. So if you're looking for the ATV of kayak fishing, the ultimate all-around boat, check out the Wilderness Systems Ride Series, and the 135 and the 11 and a half. For outstanding customer service, expert advice, and an extensive selection of quality kayak fishing products, visit Hook One at kayakfishinggear.com.